So Cornell West went on Sean Hannity's show, and Sean Hannity wanted to debate the Claudine Gay situation with him. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you've been living under a rock, let me break this down for you real quick. Claudine Gay uh, was the head of, I believe it's Harvard, and there were all these hearings uh, a few weeks ago about anti-Semitism on college campuses, and she was asked the question, hey, if somebody calls for the genocide of Jews, is that against school policy? And Claudine Gay says, if it's directed at an individual, then yes. You know, depending on the context, if it's directed at an individual, yes. That is against uh, the rules, and we would investigate it, and appropriate action would be taken. Well, apparently I wasn't a good enough answer. Now, by the way, let me be clear, that was exactly the correct answer. Exactly the correct answer. Because in this country, and on college campuses, we are supposed to believe in freedom of speech. So the one of the only things that crosses the line is a direct threat of violence. So her answer was exactly that. Basically, if it's a direct threat of violence, then yes, we'll take action against it. Well, no, that wasn't good enough for people, and they wanted their pound of flesh, and so, so she was fired, and some others were fired as well for similar answers, which were 100% accurate and correct answers. Now, by the way, let's just be clear. Nobody's on college campuses calling for the genocide of Jews. Literally, nobody. What they're referring to is, it's a disingenuous effort to say, if you chant intifada, or if you chant from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. We will pretend like you're saying you want to genocide the Jews, even though that's not what you're saying. Even though if you ask those people, hey, what do you mean? They go, that's not what I mean at all. I mean, I want equal rights for everybody in the region. They'll say, no, 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 you're actually calling for genocide. So I just want to be clear, nobody actually chanted that. But anyway, so she gave the proper answer and her head was served on a platter as a result of it because what happened is Chris Rufo, right-wing activist, didn't like the answer because he's not for free speech and he wants uh, protected classes only for some people right? And he does an investigation. He finds, oh my God, there was inadequate citations in some of her uh, previous academic works, and there was potential plagiarism in some of this stuff, and oh my God, this is unacceptable. And so then they change the conversation, they make it about plagiarism, and then boom, now she had she was forced to resign. So Cornell West saw that. He, he saw the game that was being played. He knows this is disingenuous. He comes out, he opposes getting rid of Claudine Gay, um, and he says... Look, there's also a racial angle to this as well. You want to dump her because uh, she's a black woman. Now, do I agree with Cornell on that? Honestly, I don't. Because I think um, if I was in the same position as Claudine Gay, they would have tried to do the same thing against me. Now, I've never played dry, so it's a little bit different. But she gave the right answer. They would have dug into your past and found something to say, we got to act you. Right? So I actually don't think it's about race. But... Cornel West does see the whole picture in the sense that he knows the reason she's being axed is because she wanted to protect the free speech rights of pro-Palestine activists. Okay, so now Sean Hannity is going to blow a gasket over Cornel West's position. Let's go. Dr. West, really? You, 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 I, this is really beneath you, if you don't mind me being very blunt. For you to go to the race card and say that Dr. Gay was pushed out because of racism, that's not why she was pushed out. You know the code of conduct as well as anybody at Harvard. Uh, you almost got tenure at Harvard. You understand it well. And you know that if similar comments about the elimination or genocide of any, quote, identity group, African Americans, uh, people in the LGBTQ plus community, if any of these comments that were made against the Jewish people were made against other groups, you would not be saying that's racism. And she had a moment where she could have stood out and strongly condemned it and not supported it, not said, well, it depends on the context. Uh, she would still be president today. Why did you Why did you sink to this low and claim racism? Well, I didn't sink to that level, though, brother. Let me tell you exactly what, what, what I said, and I hope you understand. I have it in front of me. Very clearly. One, the, 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 no, I don't know, but I, I know Sister Gay, she doesn't have an anti-Semitic bone in her body. She didn't speak strong enough. I had a critique of that in the Boston Globe. It was a weak response at the Congressional Committee, but that is that... I don't even agree with that. I think it was a perfectly correct response, but there's this moral panic and hysteria that's hitting the country, and so back like she said something wrong. She didn't. That she's anti-Semitic, that means she ought to resign. You know and I know there's been attempts to impose tremendous pressures on universities with big money donors dictating various conditions under which they will give, and there's been attempts to reshape universities. Now, you and I know there's orthodoxies in the universities, that I, I'm against all, all orthodoxies, there's no doubt about that. But the very notion that you think it was about plagiarism, that, that's window dressing. Lawrence Tribe plagiarized from Peter J. Abrams much more than she did, and he remained a prize professor at Harvard Law. 
Doris Kearns plagiarizes, there's a whole host of folk who plagiarize and don't get this kind of vicious treatment. When she says in her notes, she's called the N-word a zillion times, racial animus, death threats, whoa, people whoa, whoa, coming whoa, whoa. at her with white supremacists attack and bombard. Or no. That's what she said. Or no. and you're going to say it has no. nothing to do with race? It has nothing to do with race, brother? Come on, or no. come on. You, you've known me a long time. I condemn anybody that ever yes. said anything racist about her or to her or threatened her. That cannot exist. You're hearing that directly from me. But what you're saying here is, is not so that what you're means, addressing. That means you, you criticize the you people who were trashing her. You criticize the people who were trashing her. No, no, no. You said it was racism that resulted in her being removed. Now, also, if you believe in rigorous academic standards, there are up to 50 allegations of yes. plagiarizing. Now, if a student of yours uh, plagiarized something, uh, I would imagine they'd probably get an F. I would imagine they might even be brought up for disciplinary, disciplinary action, maybe even kicked out of school. But the reason that she should have been disciplined here, and I don't call for firings, is because her answer was right. pathetic. Antifada from the river to the sea. They're talking about eliminating an entire group of people. That's a lie. That's just a lie. Now, by the way, with any other group of people, gay people, trans people, women, black people, if Claudine Gay gave that answer, they would be like, yes, she's supporting freedom of speech. Because her answer was perfect. Hey, it, it depends on the context. If somebody's doing a direct threat of violence, then absolutely, we'll take action. If not, it's this little thing we call free speech in the First Amendment, and that's how this country runs, and it should run that way because we believe in freedom. That's the correct answer. If it was about any other group, Sean Hannity would agree. But here, he doesn't agree. Why? Because it involves criticism of Israel. And so all of a sudden, he's the snowflake. All of a sudden, he's the authoritarian. All of a sudden, he's censorious. And all of a sudden, he says intifada, which just vaguely means like rebellion or uprising, that is by definition violent. From the river to the sea, that is by definition violent. Even though, if you talk to people who advocate for it, certainly in the context of the U.S., they'll say, no, what I want is one state in the region a binational state with equal rights for all. I want Palestinians to have human rights. I want Israelis to have human rights. So he's like, your language is violent, even though it's not violent. That's what he's doing. He's doing the liberal snowflake thing. He is the liberal snowflake. Now, and by the way, he keeps conflating it, right? Let's be clear. The reason why she was axed is because she gave the correct answer on free speech. That's why she was axed. Because that was the, gen they were pissed at her answer, her correct answer, and so they said, let's dig through her entire life, her entire academic history, and dig up some legitimate reason to say, oh, no, actually, the reason we want to get rid of her is this. No, the whole genesis of it was you didn't like her correct answer on free speech. And that's what led to the investigation. So it was a hatchet job from the beginning. And so Hannity is actually conflating both things. Half the time, he's correctly saying, oh, my God, we're, you know, we're firing her because she gave the wrong answer in the hearing. But then the other half the time, no, look at all the plagiarism. Well, as Cornell West laid out, there's all these other examples of plagiarists, like whatever, Larry Summers or Lawrence Tribe or whoever, all these different people, and uh, there was no disciplinary action at all. Why? Because uh, they weren't critics of Israel, so they didn't get axed. All right, let's continue. I'll try not to interrupt anymore here. That is, that should be unacceptable, and you should be leading that charge, not blaming the people that were I, angered I by her remarks. I stand against any genocide, brother. I stand against the genocide of your Irish brothers and sisters. I stand against the genocide of black people. I stand against the genocide of Jews. But I also stand against the genocide of Palestinians. And it is no accident that some of the same people who were behind pushing her out, Ackman himself, Summers himself, whole host of Bloom and others who have been against affirmative action, they also won't say a mumbling word about the genocide against Palestinians. Well, you, so mm, exactly right. Neither will Sean Hannity. But I, said, I know I said I wouldn't interrupt. One more thing. He brought up Bill Ackman here, who also helped lead this charge to get rid of Claudine Gay. Uh, well, guess what? Turnabout's fair play, you dumb bitch. So what did people do? Uh, they looked into his wife, who's an academic, and her academic history. Not only did she plagiarize, some of the stuff she pulled directly from Wikipedia. And so now all of a sudden he was, oh, this plagiarism's unacceptable. It can't stand fire, fire, fire. When it was about Claudine Gay, when it's about his wife, he's like, mm, what do you, what even really is plagiarism? What is this nebulous concept we talk about plagiarism? I don't think this is necessarily plagiarism, bro. I'm not even necessarily against plagiarism, bro, but I don't even think this is plagiarism, bro. All of a sudden, nuanced trolling. Oh my God. Oh, I hate all these people. 
Cornell is 100% right here. You tell me you can start a bunch of genocides. Have you said a mumbling word about the genocide against the Palestinians? Ooh. Have you said, have no, you said no, a word against I'll, the Palestinians? I'll tell you right now. The genocide Palestinians. Had, had the, had the I elected, want to hear you say a word had the elected leaders Had the elected leaders in Gaza uh, not committed the act of murder and terror against 1,400 Israelis, which would be the equivalent of 40,000 Americans. the Irish. Which would be the equivalent of 40,000 Americans. Let me tell you something. If anyone killed 40,000 Americans in a day, I would want to fight and win the war. They started that fight. They're the ones that you use innocent people. So in other words, we get to genocide their kids now. We get to carpet bomb babies. We get to kill literally over 12,000 innocent children, over 7,000 innocent women. We get to kill 27,000 civilians. We get to wipe North Gaza off the map. We get to bomb hospitals and schools and UN buildings and marketplaces and mosques and churches. We get to do all that because terrorism begets me, me being allowed to do terrorism. This is his logic. This is his reasoning. In other words, Cornell's 100% right. Sean Hannity will not condemn the genocide of Palestinians. In fact, he supports it. I keep interrupting. I said uh, I'm not even going to make the promise anymore. I will continue to interrupt. How about that? Americans with they had their headquarters children, under a hospital. 10,000 children in two months, brother? Ten, oh, you come from an Irish people who've been treated. What do you so want? Bad. What do you come expect on, man, Israel to do? About it. What do you Let's expect? What, about what do you expect them to not kill 12,000 children? Is that what you expect? Pfft, unreasonable. Unreasonable, bro. Israel was a, a, a victim of terror, and you, you need to end the, the siege and end the occupation. You end the siege and end the occupation. Excuse and say, me, it's, it's not an occupation. The Israel has not occupied Gaza for many, oh. haven't been in there for many years. Oh, and they've oh, I hate Sean Hannity so much. He's either the dumbest man on the planet, or he's just a liar. I hate it when idiots make this point. Oh, Gaza is not occupied. Hoo -hoo -hoo. They stopped in 05. Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo. What do you call it if it's a total blockade, a total embargo? They control all of the food, fuel, water, electricity, etc. You can't leave. It's an open-air prison. What do you call that? Is occupation not a good enough word for that? Is it? And by the way, they're going to take a step further and proper occupy it very shortly. Because that's what they're planning. That's what they announced. That's what Ben Gavir wants. That's what Smotrich wants. Ethnic cleansing. Resettle at the very least North Gaza. Oh, you're not, you know, oh, ho, ho, ho. Israel never did anything wrong. Ho, ho, ho. For the money they we offered them. No, brother, no, you, you, no, no. I you live, live there. Cuckoo land. You Excuse live me. Cuckoo land. There's no, no occupation land at all, where you live. Come on. No, no, no. Well, Come if you look on, at these, land, where, did, where did the money, no where did the money, where did the money for the, for the, the no, 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 let's get back to occupation. Let's talk where about occupation. Where did the money for the terror tunnels occupation? Professor, you got to, let me ask the question. It's hard to proceed, my brother. It's hard to proceed. Where did the money from the ter for the tunnels of terror, where did that come from? Where did the electricity come from? That came from America. That came from Israel to better the life and the people of Gaza. But Hamas... Well, every now and then, I'd turn the electricity on in your cage. You're not even thankful for me. Sometimes I'd give you some crumbs after I eat the food. You don't even thank me for that? Jesus Christ. The terrorist group that has sworn the destruction of Israel used that money, built their hospital, built their command centers onto hospitals, they fired their missiles from schools and hospitals, and they used all the people in Gaza's human shields. They committed uh, acts of terror, they started a war, I and they're losing the Literally any innocent Palestinian who dies, Sean Hannity blames Hamas. He's a fucking moron. Defend Hamas. Hamas commits crimes against people. I'm asking you to tell the truth. If people cut off water, if people cut off electricity and cut off food, and you say there's no occupation, if people control well, air and sea and land, and there's no occupation, you don't want to listen to the truth, my brother. No you don't want to listen to the truth. It's factual. You're factually inaccurate. Oh, I'm going to ask you a last question. You're wrong as two left shoes, Harry Truman. Harry Truman used a, used. Two bombs, one in Hiroshima, one in Nagasaki. It ended World War II against Japan. Let me ask you, is that the right decision? Oh my God. This is why we came up with, we had uh, the, the Nuremberg Tribunal. This is why we now have international law and the Geneva Conventions and the United Nations. We just, at looking at the barbarity and the savagery of all of World War II, we looked at that and said, oh my God, never again. We can't do, this is crazy. Millions and millions of dead people. Let's avoid this in the future because I think it's bad. I think it's bad when millions of people die unnecessarily. So we look at that and we say, now here are the rules. Here are the laws. 
Here's how we're all going to act civilized. And Sean Hannity comes out there and he's like, I mean, was that the right decision? We should be able to nuke again, right? We should be able to kill hundreds of thousands or millions of innocent people again, right? Israel should be able to wipe out and carpet bomb babies again, right? Because something, something World War II. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. They act like international law doesn't exist or shouldn't exist. or I mean, this is insane. Or doesn't apply to us. It's a... Uh, uh, those were war crimes, my brother. I am consistent. And we need to sit down and have You're a long discussion of what an occupation is because you come from an occupied people and you ought to be ashamed that you can't point out what Ooh. occupation when other people are occupied. You, you, are, you are better than, than using the race card, Dr. Gay, she was guilty uh, that's not, the not only giving the, the wrong answer. The truth, she was brother. giving aid and no comfort to me. She they was giving aid and comfort. The N word against her. That ain't no race card. That's her life. That's her life. That's her loved one's I, life. I, I condemn on, anybody. Brother. I condemn anybody that did that. You know me. I want to hear the con years. condemnation. I want to hear the condemnation. I know I'm not, I, just want hear, I just want to hear it, my brother, because I know you she got something, opportunity. Something, something good in you. I'm trying to tease it out. She had an opportunity to condemn those. She had an opportunity to condemn those and speak out against those that she were was responsible was for weak. murdering innocent she was people, weak on and that. she she equivocated. She weak, but that doesn't mean she got a she's not anti-Semitic and anti-Semitic. She was weak. Not running large at Harvard, brother. If she's that, it's, if she's that, that weak, she has no more fight. Is not running wild. If she's that weak, she has no business running Harvard. But I do support your tenure at Harvard. There you go. Well, Larry Summers was as weak as priest Wheaton Kool-Aid. He ran Harvard for oh, seven man. years, my brother. Believe me. He never published than, a book. Cornell West, you are better, published than published better than this. Never published one book. You are better than what you've no, been saying. You're better than this. You are better than this. But I'm presenting the truth to you that you don't want to listen to, my brother. I Sean Hannity is not better than this, Cornell. I love you, Cornell West. Sean Hannity is not better than this. This is Sean Hannity right here. By the way, what you're witnessing right in front of you is how difficult it is to have a conversation when you don't have a shared basis of basic facts and reality. It's easy to have a debate or a discussion when you have a shared basis of facts and reality and then you differ on your interpretation and the direction you go, etc. It is nearly impossible to have a debate or conversation when one side is, is saying uh, up is down and down is up and left is right and right is left and the sun is made of Swiss cheese and it's just really hard. And, you know, God bless Cornell West. He tried really, really hard there. But you got to understand something. Hannity is a professional propagandist. And uh, he's doing his job. His job is to obfuscate. His job is to deflect. His job is to smear. And today the target was Claudine Gay. And um, he made a valiant effort trying to correct Hannity. But he is Sean Hannity. There are massive, massive limits. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.